Yeah. It's crazy out there. Hey everybody, what is up? I'm back with a new episode for you guys today and I'm back with a new type of episode for the first installation of what I'm going to call Funny Fridays and you guys are going to love it. Now, normally I'm going to be like reviewing a song that's comical, but like I said, today we're going to go a little bit different route and we're going to talk about Fleece Johnson. You know him? Let me introduce you guys to him quick. Maybe some of you guys out there might remember him. I like booty, a man's butt. I'm a warrior too, you know, so somebody's going to have to give us some booty. And it's just that simple. <laughs> what you got him watching, man? <laughs> That's right, the booty warrior himself, Fleece Johnson. Now, my first thought to have Funny Friday was, like I said, to put on a comical song and then comment about it, not to be funny like Fleece Johnson funny. However, I came upon this TikTok that was a parody of him, and I found it so comical that this uh, <laughs> this guy made it into mainstream media. So we're going to take a look at the clip that started it all. We're going to take a look at the mainstream media he's infiltrated, and it's just going to be a funny little thing that we're going to do. So let's get started right away. In order to do that, you gotta hit that subscribe button. All right, let's start with the MSNBC clip that started a cult following type phenomena. But when Lockup visited Kentucky State Penitentiary, we met Fleece Johnson, a longtime inmate who practices a very different kind of homosexuality. But we have sexual desires, right? So you got a bunch of men locked up in one place, all of them get hard, all of them's horny, all of them got sexual desire, so what are they going to do? You won't let them have a woman. They're going to have each other. Somebody's going to have to give us some booty. And it's uh, just that simple. <laughs> All right, let me just stop right there for two seconds. I've been to prison, and you do not have to get down like fleece. All right, first off, if you really can't, you know, wait or anything, you, you can find some porn floating around in there and just take care of yourself, okay? Now, if you really got some game, there's some female guards that'll give it up to the convicts in there. And if you can't get any of that, then, like I said, you can just wait. You know, it's... Even if you're in a gang and shit, like any gang I've ever heard of, it's in their bylaws that there is no man-to-man -man contact whatsoever. And honestly, it don't matter if you're pitching or catching, you're still playing the game, homeboy. You're still playing. Like I said, I did a couple of years at once, but I don't care if it's life. I could go the rest of my life without ever having to have a man's butt. <laughs> and that is a fact. I could go my whole life without that shit. All right, let's get some more. Let's hear what else old Booty Bandit has to say. So, <laughs> the most uh, memorable story that Fleece told us was about the place and importance that Booty has in a maximum security penitentiary. And he went on about it and on about it. <laughs> Did you guys see his face? <laughs> <laughs> what he was talking about, <laughs> fleece and booty? Booty has in a maximum security penitentiary. And he went on about it and on about it. <laughs> See him just get serious and put his face down. <laughs> I bet that dude really had no idea what he was getting into at all, sitting down with old fleece there. Hell, who is prepared to sit <laughs> I didn't listen to that kind of crazy stuff. I mean, it's just foul. All right, there's some more funny stuff that we got to get to, so let's let's move on. And on about it. In this prison, booty. Booty was uh, more important than food. Booty. A man's butt. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh my gosh! A 
man's butt. <laughs> the way he says it, so so serious <laughs> and matter of fact and nonchalant. A man's butt. A man's butt. What you got him watching, man? <laughs> it's the booty warrior shack. Man, I cannot believe this guy. I got to hear the rest of this. Let's keep going, and then we'll get to the other parodies and shit. Trust me, it's all worth it. Booty. A man's butt. It was more... I'm sorry. It was more booty having some booty. was more important than drinking water, man. I like booty. But since when the hell is booty from a man or a woman more important than food or water? I don't know. Man, guys like him, I think, are prone to this type of latent activity. <laughs> more important than water. Come on, man. You, you, <laughs> you prone to booty anyway. More important than food or water. Stop it. Get some help. All right, let's hear some more. We got to get through this and then get to the parodies of them. Johnson went on to tell our crew how he used to satisfy his sexual desires, especially during the 1970s and 80s, when he was most active and prison security was more lax. When I see one... <laughs> Shit, he looks like he sees one now. <laughs> He looks like he's on the prowl now, Lurk, <laughs> and stands over there and spots one. What? Oh, my God! All right, let's keep watching. Most active, and prison security was more lax. When I see one, and he looks good to me, when I go see him, I say, you come here. I say, I'm telling you what, uh, I like you. No, won't you? And uh, uh, we can do it the easy way out of the hallway. So the choice is yours, right? And it was always yes. What you got him watching, man? <laughs> I don't know no life. <laughs> I don't know the damn booty warrior man. I can tell you one thing though. I can tell you one thing soon as old flea stepped to me and said Hey, you come here L Look here. I'm gonna tell you what boom his fucking teeth would have been flying across that yard <laughs> Can you believe this dude was released from prison not once but twice since this thing was aired originally, yes, in 2015 he was released. He went back for armed robbery and was released again in 2019. Surprise, motherfucker. Yes, the parole board <laughs> said, Fleece, you're good to go. You've paid your debt to society. You're good to be back out onto the streets of Kentucky. Yes, folks, Fleece Johnson is back out roaming the streets of Kentucky. No! God, please, no! 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 All right, let's try and make it through the rest of this clip. It was only like, I don't know, about three and a half minutes originally, but I had to stop it at certain parts. But I really want to make sure you guys get to this other stuff, because after seeing this, it really makes the uh, other thing so much more funny. So let's get to it. Yes. Johnson also had a warning for the new generation of inmates. They might be asking for trouble from old timers. You know, they got this thing... Well, they shave their pants, past their butt. It's a style, they call it some sort of gangster style. You know, it's sexy to us, right? And see, but they weren't prepared for this, right? So you shave your pants in her, man, somebody be up in your butt, you know? And it just says so. <laughs> Bro, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. He said that's sexy to us. A man's butt. A man's butt. Man, he can't even help his old nasty ass gross, man. All right, let's get through the rest of this shit. Johnson even let the lockup crew know that when he was in his prime, they wouldn't be safe from his advances either. 
if y'all had been in her back then in them days, and as much as I like booty, I probably felt one of y'all butts. And y'all was walking past me. And dared you to say so. <laughs> Man, I, I told you that camera guy or whoever he was in the beginning looked scared and sh <laughs> Man, this fleece is a straight predator. He is. This is like fucking Shawshank Redemption with the bull queers and shit going after that guy. It is. He is just like one of those dudes. That's Fleece. Take a walk. I gotta change the rear. I say fuck off! Really? What are you supposed to say to the bride? Ain't you gonna scream? And this man is on the streets right now, lurking, doing whatever he does when he's on the streets. All right, this is it. This is the last 15 seconds of the actual uh, original MSNBC clip that started it all. Let's get it. I'm not no shame in my game. This is nothing that I'm ashamed to admit. I am what I am. I'm a warrior, too, you know, so... Let that be known. I'm a warrior. Well, you damn well should be ashamed of shit. You're a straight predator, dude. You should be ashamed of that shit. Warrior shit. Booty warrior, maybe. Man, that dude's a brown striped general in the 1983 Kentucky Booty Wars. <laughs> this dude gotta be the biggest clown in the world, right? All right, that's it on the actual real-life footage that we have of Fleece Johnson from the MSNBC Lock Up Raw episode. Now let's take a look at the first Boondocks clip that I have from that cartoon, The Boondocks. Uh, it's 42 seconds, and it's an almost perfect likeness and imitation of old Fleece. So I don't want to interrupt it at all. I'm just going to play it all the way through the 42 seconds that I chose for it, and uh, then I'll come back. When you go to prison, the most important thing in your life is going to be booty. Yeah, I better listen to it. A man's butt. Uh -huh. Booty, getting some booty, is more important than eating food. It's more important than drinking water. If I see a man I like, I tell him like this here. I like you. He like you. And I want you. Yeah, he wants you. Now, we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. What you want, Tom? What's it going to be? I ask you a question, Tom. I can't hear you, Tom. I don't want to answer. I, 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 excuse me, I didn't hear you, Tom. I said I, I don't want to answer. I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. Sound like to me, you wanted the hard way. I told you guys that was a great parody of them. I told you it was almost perfect, and they even said the most crucial part. Listen to a man's butt. Huh? A man's butt. Man, they did that pretty good. The whole thing was almost spot on. All right, let's take a look at the second clip that I have from the Boondocks cartoon that has a special guest appearance from old booty warrior Fleece Johnson. Got out of the shower. There's some juice on the table. Mm-hmm. Take your time. You want to explain to me what you're doing here? I came looking for booty. You came looking for sex with an underage boy? Oh, no, I ain't come looking for no little bars. I ain't got no milk, no cookies, nothing. I came looking for man's butt. A man's butt? Excuse me? Oh, I know who you are, Chris Hansen. But see, I, I call you Chris Hansen. I watch your TV show all the time. So you can go ahead and bring them cameras and them police is waiting outside. It don't make me no difference. Now, I tell you what. I like you, and I want you. Now, we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. Well, I don't think you and I will be doing anything any kind of way. Okay, I, I see you choosing the hard way. Uh, okay, cut. This isn't working. Someone get this guy <laughs> out. Hey, oh, man, you're ruining that butt. No, Chris, I'm, no, a, please. I'm a warrior. Hear him yell. Hear him yell. Then I'm a warrior. <laughs> Plus this set. Uh, Plus, you know it. You know it. They said, I came looking for man's butt. A man's butt. 
<laughs> Man, that's funny that this dude made it into mainstream media, like a cartoon on cable and shit. And, and then also, uh, I want you to take a look at this parody that a guy does on his TikTok. It's pretty good. Take a look. Um, TikTok is more important than food. TikTok, a man's app. Is more important. <laughs> I'm serious, man. TikTok, making a TikTok is more important than water, man. TikTok. <laughs> man, normally I don't even think it's funny, like this type of dirty, like gay talk and shit and dick and fart jokes, but like, since this came from a real guy being serious. That's why these parodies are so funny and I get such a kick out. <laughs> All right, there's one more from this guy and it's pretty funny, so take a look. When I see a TikTok, I won't. And I'm scrolling on down and it's looking all good. I say to myself, I want you and I'm gonna have you and I'm gonna use you tonight. Fleece has even included his children to partake in his addiction for TikTok. They got these. <laughs> I bet you Fleece never. <laughs> I bet you Fleece never imagined in his wildest dreams that he'd be the character of a cartoon or a bunch of memes. <laughs> Especially doing what he was doing in those scenes. But he has to have seen one of these parodies of himself by now, right? Even in prison, you have TVs and shit, and <laughs> even if you can't afford one in your cell, there's day rooms where you go watch. He had to have at least seen Boondocks or seen what is something with that on there, right? I mean, so uh, that's what started it all was those TikTok videos, because it, it's just because it, I had seen the original uh, MSNBC thing and so many people had seen it when it aired and it's just so bizarre so i just i had to put it on there i laughed so hard making it and i know you guys laughed super hard so if you laughed super hard i know you liked it so if you liked it take one second for me right now and smash on that like button and so you never miss any future episodes or content Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell. Extra, extra, extra special thanks and a special shout out to Casino Cuzzo. Thank you, my brother. I love you. Thank you for everything that you've done for me. That was his smash hit come from off of his amazing debut album, Relentless Volume 1, available on all platforms. Go get it. I put a link down in my description. Not only that, he's got an array of awesome clothes. He's got t-shirts. He's got hoodies, sweatpants, everything with a bunch of awesome imagery and stuff on it. And it's all amazing and good prices. I've got a t-shirt. I've got more clothes coming. And he's got a bunch of amazing stuff on his site. Like I said, I put a link down in the description so you can go right to it. His album is one of the best albums you'll ever hear in your life. It's one of the best albums I've ever heard. It's now become a classic. And it has never left my playlist since day one. You will not be disappointed. Go get it. It's great. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. God bless you. Have a great day.